In nearby Conneaut, Ohio, it is the start of the D-Day reenactment event series, which goes on for several days. Our Marissa Thomas took the a drive to see a military convoy, take a loop around the area, and also stop by two reenactment camps. So Marissa, what did the reenactors say about today and the days to come? Good evening, Emily. The people I spoke to tonight told me about the importance of remembering this historic day, our World War II vets, and passing on the passion for history and its lessons to the younger generation. Uniforms, tents, and military vehicles are all at the reenactment camps in Conneaut. It's all a part of the 2023 live history event. One participant who reenacted as the Commonwealth Company commander, Daniel Copeland, has been involved in events like this for the past 40 years. He says he spent a lot of time dedicated to preservation and presentation of history. It's terribly important to remember the sacrifices of these men uh, in Canada and the U.S., uh, what they did to preserve our freedoms as, uh, as citizens in free countries. Uh, all the rights and freedoms that we have um, in, in the free world were all earned by the sacrifice of the men that served uh, in these conflicts. Copeland says live history has a unique appeal and opportunity to teach. And we teach for the weekend and we talk to people, we answer their questions, we let them handle our kit, see what's going on, and they get to have more of a tactile experience. Doug Landry is reenacting as a soldier in charge of the German regular forces. He says by participating in live history events, he had the chance to meet veterans who had firsthand experience. And I was actually surprised that I was able to meet with a veteran from the 17th Airborne. He fought in the Battle of the Bulge. He crossed the Rhine. There was a lot of actions there with this lesser known airborne unit that hasn't been covered with popular media. He had uh, friends and family who passed away due to the, the Nazis coming in and taking over uh, Serbia. And for the next few days, Landry recommends people come out, learn, and take part in seeing the reenactments. If anyone's on the fence about showing up, just, just come out. Along with the reenactments of the battles on the beach landing earlier in the day, tomorrow and Saturday, depending on weather, they'll have paratroopers dropping down at 7 p.m. You can check out what other events are happening this weekend by clicking the link on our website at erienewsnow.com. Live from the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.